Howdy. Can't believe you guys have to wear suits every day. That's ridiculous. Uh, can't either. <laughs> my name is Mark Nichols. I own a fishing lure company called DOA Fishing Lures. We're based in Stewart, Florida. I've been in business for 27 years, been quite successful. A large part of the reason why I was successful is because I lived in a phenomenal fishery. I've had people, I was in North Carolina last week, I was in South Carolina the week before that, I was in Texas a month before that. Those people are all asking me about the Indian River Lagoon. I could show you pictures like the pictures of big fish, oh you go ooh ah. I could show you pictures of the Indian River Lagoon where I had to push my way through grass. Now there's no grass whatsoever. My question to some of you folks that work here would be, have you ever accepted a check from Big Sugar? My other question would be, have you, do you fish? If you don't, there's a lot of us here that would love to show you our lagoon. And we would show you, we would be more than happy to show you in person and explain to you what happens because we can talk to you till we're blue in the face. But ultimately, it's as simple as if I'm a businessman, I have to have that property because I have to have more water storage for South Florida because South Florida is booming. People are moving there incredibly fast. When we have a dry year, then we have water rationing in Stewart because we don't have enough water in the lake. We have people pouring into South Florida. If we have three drought years in a row, then what do we do? If you're a smart business person, you're going to buy the land now because every day you don't, they are going to raise the prices and you're going to pay more for it and you're going to have to have it. So why don't you go ahead and get it? Even if you don't care about the ecology of the Everglades, which is a national treasure, which the state of Florida, the, the, the world record, all tackled, all tackled record, speckled trout is from the ever is from uh, Flame, excuse me is from the Fort Pierce, Florida, which is on the uh, Indian River. People everywhere from Virginia to the Mexican border look at that as their holy grail. That brings millions of dollars into our economy. We've heard a lot of these folks with sugar, and I understand, say we're going to lose our jobs. Well, we've got a whole bunch of people that are losing their jobs, whether it be a hotel or a, or a guide, because they can't get work because everybody has said, oh my goodness, there's no grasses left. We don't have anywhere to go. So that's the bottom line, I guess. Anybody got any suggestions what else I need to say? <laughs> uh, but that's basically it. You know, my, my, my business success is because of where I started. And now I can't bring people there. If I want to catch a giant trout, I'm going to go to South Texas. All right. Later. Thank you very much.